This is a guided practical example on descriptive statistics. The learning objectives is, you, is to use Microsoft Excel to find the following. Graphical summaries, pie chart, bar chart, and histogram. Numerical summaries, mean, medium, mode, standard deviation, and range. Part A, constructing graphical summaries. When constructing pie charts and bar charts, we need to firstly find the frequency distribution tables. Using the frequency distribution table, the pie chart and bar chart can be constructed. First, we download the data file. In this data file, there are job sector of customer visiting the mall, the age of the customer, the number of times of a customer visit the mall, in a month, the gender of the customer, household income of the customer, and the amount the spend, the amount in the law. I now show you how to construct a pie chart using the number of people in different job sectors. First is to form a frequency distribution table. Type the header job sector in cell H3 and frequency in cell I3. Then type the job sector IT engineering in cell H4, business finance in cell H5 and others in cell H6. Now we go to column H first, then third cell H3. You can see from the diagram, it's three here. And then we type the title, job sector. So job sector. And then in the cell, so we can extend, extend the length of the cell first. Okay, let me extend it for a little bit here, and drag it. Then the I, Three, we have the frequency number of how many of them are in each sector. So let me drag this a bit here to show you bigger space. There is I H three and I three. Now in H4, you enter the sector IT and engineering combined. Then there's uh, H4. Then in H5, you have uh, business and finance sector and H6, you have others. Now we count the number of person in the IT or engineering sector. So we issue the formula, count if, then I want to select a range of data from A2, job sector A2, and when it all, all is now A2 now, and then column to A, the last, last row is control, shift, downwards, so get A201 now, then comma, I want this, calculate the number of person in IT and engineering sector into cell H4. So I enter H4, comma H4, then close the bracket. Then press enter button. 
Then you'll see that they're all together. One, zero, three of them in the IT or engineering sector. Now, I want to keep this rate of data in job sector. So what I'm going to do is put a dollar sign to keep a keep this fix now. So I put a dollar sign, dollar sign, and then for A, dollar sign, after A, two, and then a dollar sign, before A, a dollar sign, after two zero one, this will keep the data of job sector fixed, because I want to repeat this formula for business and finance sector. Now, look at the formula again. The formula has changed already. All right. Now I put a, put a cursor, we see a plus sign under the data, 103. Then uh, drag the plus sign using the three button, drag down, and then you'll see that the number of person in the business and finance sector and other sector was show. Let go the plus sign, you see that 59 of them in, in the business and finance sector and others 38 of them. You can also copy the formula of IT engineering sector to here. So for example, you can delete the data here. Then I go to here, Control C, copy the formula, move to here, Control V. Then you can find that this will be 59 of them. Copy the same formula again, Control V again, then you get 38. So you can using this method to fill up the table to find out okay how many are actually in the different sector. Now I will show you how to construct a pie chart from the cell H4, H5, H6 and I4, I5, I6 for IT, engineering, business, finance and others and their frequency recipe. Then select the insert and select the 2D pie chart. Select H4, H5, H6 I6. Then insert a 2D pie chart. So I'm looking for pie chart here. So pie chart, 2D pie chart. So you can see the 2D pie chart here. And you'll see the different color, IT and engineering. There are 55, 52% of them. And uh, this one is uh, the gray. Others 38 of them, 19 percent, and then uh, business and finance 59 of them, 30 percent. So, right click, uh, add data label, then you see that the number show up. To convert the frequency, the percentage value at data level, click on more option. And then use the under format data labels, labels options, and, and take the value and take percentage.
the percentage of the frequency are now shown. And the charge will show the percentage instead. Now we go to the eye charge. Right click, then right click. You can format the data label. Then instead of the value, we create a percentage. So the percentage will be shown as well. All right. So let's see the percentage now. So you can actually do two number there. 103, which is 51%, 38, which is 19%, and 59, which is 30%. Of course, you can actually, if you don't want both the value, you can right click again, format data label. So instead of value, I can take the get, get the value and tick here. Then you can see that only percentage is shown. So if you want percentage and the value show, you can also tick both. 